Today I will demonstrate the process of creating a simple seascape using gold leaf in this tutorial. Consequently, I procured a distinctive adhesive to attach the gold leaf in a precise and secure manner. I utilized this adhesive by applying it onto the surface using a brush, specifically targeting the area where I want to stick the sheet of material and ensure a secure bond. While glue dries, I want to add texture. It is imperative for the glue to dry for a brief period and form a sticky surface as any attempt to apply adhesive on uncured glue will yield unsatisfactory results. The gold leaf will easily peel off or smear and mix with the glue, so be sure to wait until the glue dries a little bit before proceeding further. You just need to touch it with your finger. And when you feel that the surface has become sticky like a sticker, then you can apply the gold leaf. I apply a gold leaf to the areas where it has not been applied and assist in making the leaf adhere to the surface by using a brush for better adhesion. I use a brush because if I use my fingers, there is a possibility that the sheet will simply stick to my fingers. Using a dry brush and a small quantity of water, I proceed to apply the dark blue paint. My goal is to thoroughly cover the entire surface of the canvas, as I believe this canvas will play a prominent role and be highly visible in the future. Generally, my approach involves starting with dark tones, then gradually incorporating lighter tones to create a contrasting effect in my writing. especially convenient if you are painting with acrylic. Since acrylic has a tendency to darken after drying, it is easier to add lighter and lighter shades. I would like to clean everything a bit by using a napkin. Specifically, my goal is to remove the excess layer of gold on the surface, as it is not desirable in the current context. My aim is to strive for creating an abundance of texture on a highly intricate surface. I have a strong desire to add a touch more gold, as it will enhance the overall aesthetic and bring an added sense of richness to the composition, given its inherent beauty. That is the method I use to effortlessly remove excess paint and create texture by tapping, achieving stunning results. I would like to add a few lines. I would like to create a feeling as though it were mountains. We wear gloves because we don't want to get our fingers dirty. I combine the identical dark blue paint with white paint and then I incorporate a small amount of warm yellow to make the color more complex. 
Here I am trying a sponge for application, but it doesn't really suit me in this technique, so I will switch to a brush. Being careful not to completely cover the canvas in order to maintain the visibility of the layer that was applied earlier on. I desire gold and canvas to shine through. Occasionally I have the desire to eliminate an additional layer of paint to reveal the surface that existed previously. To me, it appears beautiful. I blend a darker shade. The overall look is quite stunning. I use the identical blue paint, combine it with white, and incorporate a small amount of black in order to achieve this intricate shade of grey color. Adding a straight line, as it is the horizon line. Now, I want to add more darkness by using dark blue paint. Here I also add the outlines of the horizon. There will be a horizon of the sea, where the sea ends and the sky begins. I am already fond of the colors now, but over time I will gradually lighten them more and more. I use dry brush technique to apply paint and create a translucent effect on the canvas. I also attempt to blur the line where the sea and the sky meet, in order to make it appear more natural. I do not want it to feel like I have sketched this line with the aid of a ruler. To obtain the color of the sky, I combine blue and white and incorporate a small amount of red paint. Here I am not utilizing the yellow color, like I utilized when I wrote about the sea. I am acquiring increasingly more light shades. When the layer dries slightly, I brush it once more with a brush that is dry. 
it transpires to be a highly intriguing effect. Additionally, I employ this technique using a dry brush, exclusively utilizing darker shades. Gradually, I am building up a layer of paint. I try not to press too hard on the brush because I want to keep the bottom layer translucent. I do not want to entirely paint the surface. I have a feeling that the middle strip has become a bit too dark and I want to lighten it up a little. Despite my strong reluctance, I genuinely do not want to lose the existing texture that is currently in place. Adding more white, I want to create a cloud effect. I have a desire to enhance the contact line that exists between gold and water, so my intention is to apply gold foil again, but this time with a smoother line. I want to add some natural sand. I completely forgot that I wanted to do this at first, but let's try to do it now.
when it dried as you can see the white color disappeared and now there is only sand. I want to add the same color that was applied before on top of the texture. I add a dark blue strip of contact between the sand and the sea and the water. A few more elements and voila, the picture is ready. I love the combination of blue and gold. Here's how it will look in the interior and here's how it will look in the museum. If you like the video, please like and subscribe too.